All right, today I want to show you an RX-7 build that I've been thinking about. So let's see if I have an RX-7. First, I need to click over here. Okay, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Rob Dom. Um, he has this RX-7 that was featured on the Hoonigans channel on an episode of This vs. That where they raced against the Hoonicorn. And basically, it's a flat black RX-7. So I don't have one. I have to get one. Let's see how much they are. Uh, flat black RX-7, a little bit of wide body, all-wheel drive craziness. Okay, so it's basically like a Hoonicorn mixed with an RX-7. So that's what I'm trying to do today. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the process. I don't know if you saw my F450 build the other day, but I really like doing that kind of stuff in Forza. Um... It's just like a amazing place to come in here and test out something you've been thinking about or whatever. Okay, so Mazda. And we have the RX-7. Now, I'm not sure which one of these I want to do. How much is this one? 30 and 35. That one's actually more? That's weird. And it's less horsepower. Okay. Um, let's just go with the older one, the classic. I'm not sure what year his is. Okay, one quick thing. I'm looking at the wide body available. And that's not the wide body I want. So let's see. You can kind of get a preview of what you can do to the cars by looking at these liveries. Okay, so these are not really that I'll go back to the other one. Okay, so we're going to buy this one. And we're going to hit Y to get the colors. And I want a custom color. It's at night, so I can't see anything. Um, do they have a flat, flat black in Forza? I don't think they do, do they? I thought they did. There's two-tone semi-gloss, two-tone matte, okay, so, okay, all right, I'm just going to buy it. Now, if we go into the paint with this one I picked, there's some sliders that you can change. You can basically create the uh, the color you want, so I'll change it to, to black if it's not black already. Okay, so now we're going to go to the garage, uh, we're going to upgrade it and custom upgrade so let's start with the body modifications let's see what we can do here is there no we need to do a conversion right conversion well first we're gonna do the all-wheel drive conversion boom so now we need to check out the body kit and my son was telling me there was two and that thing is good wow that's a, that's a bit much right What's this one? Hmm. Uh, that is interesting. Why does that one look so much lower? This is similar to what Rob's car is. So it's only ten thousand. I'm going to get it. And let's look at the engines. So we have a 6.2. No, no. Yes. We want that. We want. Is that a 4 rotor? I believe that's what he has in that. So that's, that's amazing. All right. So I don't know if it's already turboed. Or we can't turbo it, can we? No. But it's it sounds crazy and it's got a lot of power. So we're going to take all the weight out. We have to. For suspension, I think I want... I'm going to give it drift, just for now, because I want it all the way down. I would imagine he has a cage to make it more authentic. 
We're gonna get the big breaks. All right. Man, I wish it was light out. I hate I hate that it's nighttime. So we're gonna attack the wheels here. Now I just watched the Hoonigan video just to get a quick reference. Uh, it's it's similar to this here. It's a dark black you know interior with a polished lip. Those might work. What are they? American Racing. Well, I don't like it because it's American Racing. It just doesn't fit well for being a Japanese, um, you know, top tier car. Which ones did I go in? Oh, I went in there. Okay. I think it's two piece. The two piece works. I'm looking for. Yeah, I think. I think these are awesome. I love work wheels. Just because I'm a fan of these, I'm going to get them. But I'm also going to make them bigger. So definitely not a 16. Man, I don't know. I'm torn between 17s or 18s. Let's do 17s. We don't want to go too big. We're going to make the back 17 as well. Um, and now we want... So you, we can lower it with the rally tires. I kind of think I want rally tires. There's a drift tire and the rally tire are the same. I don't know. We'll see. I like how it lowers it. And then I could also go on the grass or whatever. Look at those. It kind of pops them in. That's uh, that's really interesting that you can do that now in Forza. You can put the off-road tires on things, and you can also get the snow tires. Why can I not see the car? <laughs> that's crazy. Um, for now, I think I'm gonna run the rally tires. I don't know. I might be crazy for it, but I think they're a good all-around tire. Um. Now let's go look at the body mods. I can't modify that any, but I can get a wing. And this is the wing he had. It's like a Rocket Bunny style. So we're definitely getting that. That's sick. Okay, so we're going to do transmission. I don't want too many gears. Stock. And then there's a 7 speed. Why is there so many speeds? I'll just get the 7 speed and be done with it. And... I'll get the drift diff because I want to do like Jim Connor type stuff. I already got that right. Okay, how many horsepower do we have? We're up over 600. This should be crazy, right? I can also play with the gearing. I did that. I did that. I did that. Okay, so what's the full cost of this this build here? That's pretty steep. With the price of the car, we're over 150 thousand. Now I need to paint it, and I'm going to click this and go over to recent, and then, wait a minute, go here, but then I have to hit X to fine tune it, and I'm looking for black, so we're just going to take this all the way here. and this one all the way down and we should be able to get flat black Ah, oh, why do I do that okay hold on I do this a lot so okay so now brighten this all the way down and brighten this all the way down and I'm gonna hit okay then I hit Okay. All right. So I, I'm a fan. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of tint, just because. Put the flat black on there. I'm gonna leave the wheels the way they are. Wing mirrors. Okay. So if you guys are interested in this, I will um, 
upload the tune and if you want I'll upload the uh, design I mean it's not very in depth but that's the build so that took us about 10 minutes and we're gonna get a look at it now and this is this is similar to his car um, I know I didn't have the the correct wide body but we're wide bodied and I have the small wing and it's got a similar look to it and it's flat black so I'm really excited about that so we're gonna check the map uh, I'll wait I'm gonna take a, a shot for the video here as you guys can hear it's crazy alright I like parking here take a quick shot get a screenshot for the for the YouTube thumbnail actually I think I'm gonna pull up a little bit I like it better on the flat should I pull up or back up? I think I'm going to back up. Whoa. Okay. So, I'm going to slam it down. Hit it there. Try to grab my screenshot here. Alright, so we got that. I guess I could save it, right? Just in case. Continue. Save. Save it. Whatever. Racing. Action. Action. Share. Okay. So now I want to set the <coughs> waypoint to this airstrip here. All right. So let's uh. Let's go crazy here. I'm gonna leave it. No, I'm gonna change this to manual. I'm shifting really easy and slow here. About half throttle. Just taking it easy out through here. I wish you could pick the different exhaust you wanted. I don't think they'll change that in this game, but you know, never know. Why is it all over the road? Look at that. <laughs> Man, it really that drift suspension's crazy. I'm just I'm just pulling a little bit to the to the left and it just wiggles all over. Look at that. Look at this guy. What's he doing? He's drifting. In 400 yards, turn right. I'm just trying to get there. I am not ripping on it or anything yet. Turn right. Just taking it easy. Doesn't that sound so good? I might actually have to change it back to, uh, is that a dirt road? No. I might actually have to change it back to race suspension. This thing is all over the place. Look at that. What the heck's going on? Is it my controller? No, it's not the controller. Oh, that fast travel is that one there. One of these days I'm going to get it. The cr 
crazy authority with which that thing shifts. Wubba, wubba. I don't know about this. I'm so confused as to why it's just all over the place. I don't know. I'm I'm baffled. <laughs> this thing is wild. I promise you I'm not doing this. Oh wait, what's happening? That's that might be what's going on. Yeah, all this shit's still on here. Okay. So braking is ABS. That's what's going on. I was freaking out. Okay, so standard traction control off, stability control off. All right. I was trying to get that Goliath thing to work, but it just doesn't work. Maybe it was the car I was using or something. Okay. So I think everything's right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, as soon as I saw the brake lights come on, I was like, this is not me. This is, I'm not doing this. Alright, so that's out of the way. I'm not, I'm never playing that stupid Goliath AFK ever again. It didn't even give me any money. I did it for like a lap, two, three, three maybe. I don't know how them people are getting... Tons of money and XP. I'll just stick to the traditional ways. Alright, so I gotta go in here through the grass. But this, I love to go on this place. This huge airstrip. And just drift from one end to the other. So I'm gonna go down here and cancel this marker. So let's see. I hear you. Okay, so now we can drift. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a uh, a drag launch. See if it's similar to Rob's performance on uh, on the Hoonigan channel. That guy's super is pretty cool. I like that. He probably wants to race. Oh no, look, he's got a wheelie. I thought he was going to wait for the three honks. Now this thing has seven speeds, so I should be able to hit 200. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, look at him. Was that him? Was that the super guy? I need that car build. He made it all the way across the river. That's awesome. Oh, I just crunched my entire car. <laughs> Alright, the easiest way to reset your car is to go into the camera mode and then hit the left button on your controller, LB. And then it'll take all the damage away. So as soon as I get back up here and get through all this stuff, I'll do it again. So now I'm going to try and drift it. So I did my top speed run. I'm happy with the car's performance. For only having 600 horsepower, it's uh, it's sick. So do that. Okay, now we're out of here. So I'm just going to launch it. Man, I'm happy. This thing's crazy. Slow down. Got the good brakes on it. This Jessica, I bet you this thing's wild. Oh, he left? What the heck? I wanted to race him. Oh, he's back. All 
I gave him three honks. He didn't want it. He didn't want the smoke. So my son had a similar build to this, but he put drift tires on his, and I have the rally tires. And his drift's way better. So maybe that's what I need to do. But I love how it just rips. I really like that. I think I did good in, in modeling that car and what it looks like and the performance. A little bit. Sorry, Chad. I just got uh, some news here. Alright, anyway, had to tend to that for a second. Okay, so to wrap up, as far as, I'm, as far as I am right now, I really like the rally tires if you're going to straight line. Let's take it off road here. Or if you're going to go through any terrain. Look, I'm, I didn't even drop speed. But the only bad thing here is I don't have the rally suspension, so I have more of a drift. I kind of have one foot in, one foot out. So I would recommend if you want this, this kind of car to do that kind of stuff, keep the rally tires and go with the rally suspension. Otherwise, let's see if I have a house nearby. I don't want to pay to fast travel really. Okay, we'll go here. So I'm going to go put the drift suspension on. No, the drift tires on. And the good thing is, if you buy them, you don't have to have two cars. You can just kind of, you can outfit it one way or the other, depending on what you want to do. I knew that was going to be a problem in the build. It was going to be interesting to see the performance. One second, just uh, <laughs> trying to text somebody here. Sorry about that. Um, let's go to the house. I don't know if that XP, I think this XP over here is a new one. I'm gonna try and grab that real quick. If it's one that's on top of a house or something, that's not gonna be very fortuitous for me. Oh no, we're good. Route. Just one I hadn't been around before. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn right. Level 70. Let's get that wheel spin. All right. Oh my gosh, I have 12. What? What happened? Oh, that's the worst thing in the world. I hate that. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. I missed that turn. There's some smoky burn outage. In 200 yards, turn right. Turn right. Okay, so to wrap up, guys, I'm going to put the drift tires on. I don't know if I'll make it back over to the airstrip to show you how it drifts, but you can 
you can put uh, two and two together. Maybe we'll do it. So here's the drift tires. And we'll get out of here. Install. Because my, my son, he made one. And uh, I helped him with it a little bit. I changed the um, the differential settings to a little bit more um, no we made it all-wheel drive and then we played around around with it a little bit but his was more focused towards the, the back but what's nice is on the fly you can tune here and since I have that differentials all the way over here um, see see this I don't understand oh it's this bit okay so it was at 60 I think I made it a little more I'll take I'll take it back here I'll take I'll take 65 just to give it a little bit okay Yeah, this thing, these tires, these are new to Forza. They never had drift tires before that you could put on. But like I said, this is an all-wheel drive car. Let's do this drift zone. I think I'd like a little more rear balance. Look at that. Look at the smoke just pouring off of here. I don't know if I've done this drift zone before. Yeah, I don't think I've done this one before. Almost lost the drift. Well, I lost the drift, but almost failed it. This one's so long. Yeah, I need a little more rear balance. I'm in second gear, just flailing here. Yeah, look at that. Third's got the smoky burnouts. Maybe those drift tires are the ones that, that give it the smoke, too. This is the longest drift zone. I've ever seen other than that one on like uh, Storm Island Turn around when three start at first try all right guys so I'm really happy with the car I think it embodies what um, Rob's car is, and it's really cool to have something like this in the game that you can build or you can download. Um, you know, that's that's a real-world car or a version of it, and uh, I don't know. I'm really happy. So that's cool. So I saw a car online, and I built it, and now I can play with it on Forza and do crazy stuff so I hope you enjoyed the video guys please like and subscribe um, I just use this as a way to play the game and you know maybe I can get some more people interested in me or what I do or Forza I'll uh, help you guys out a little bit so like I said like and subscribe if you want more of this and uh, I'll see you in the next one thanks